Shoreline is probably one of the most important maps early wipe. With endless early wipe quests to do here, it's a hot spot that is crucial for success. This video is going to take you through my journey of playing Shoreline and getting a lot of early wipe quests done. I hope you guys enjoy this longer video, and let's begin with my story. Spawning into Shoreline, the first thing we had to do was kill Scavs with the AKM for Punisher Part 1, and mark the tanks for Peacekeeper for the Scrap Metal quest. So that's what we set out to do. There it is, okay. Very, very good stuff. I'm gonna slap the marker down and then continue on our way. Okay, that's. Oh, there he is. Nice little one tap. I did hear another scab as well. There he is. Took us a few hits, but we got him in the end. Okay, that's pretty much all the loot we need to get in this one raid. So, let's go and mark this last tank. Well, sorry, the second tank, and then try and extract. And I guess hope that there's no extract captains there. Whoa, there's like so many scabs here. So many scabs. How do I place this? Why can't it? It's not letting me place the marker. Why is it not letting me place the marker? There we go. Okay. We're not going to deal with those scabs. Actually, maybe we should deal with those scabs because we do need scab kills. And there are a lot of scabs here to kill. Okay. I don't know if there was any more, so... Let's play it safe. I like that you can extract on the left side here in the tree, in the grass. It, is, it gives you a little bit more cover. So our first raid went better than we could expect. We got a few scav kills, marked two of the tanks, and managed to get out with some loot. Can't really complain about that one. And we've actually made a big mistake. So I forgot to bring spare ammo for this gun. So I'm pretty much just going to try and do the last tank, which is at the top of the map that way. We have to mark that. And then, honestly, we might look to get out Maybe do a little bit of looting, but we can't stay in here too long because we do not have enough ammo. It's a kill on the sniper scab, but we did sort of alert them of where we are, so let's, let's quickly throw this down. Actually, hold on a second. He had an SKS. This could very much save us. Yeah, he has saved us with this ammo that we found. We're cutting out about 10 minutes of footage here. We were in this raid relatively long. I was getting hunted by some people that I couldn't see, so I was sort of just hiding and running around. But nothing ended up happening in the end. We'll get close to this. Get close to this way, because that's where I think the suppressed guy is. Oh, there we go. just a scav, which is a bit unusual, but we do need scav kills, so that's pretty nice. Oh. Okay. A lot of scavs here, so someone just ran through here, I guess you could say. Always check their bag. Always check. Back. I think that the few 
scabs have spawned here, but it honestly looks I think just went prone. My god. That's another scab kill. And we'll look to just run in here and extract. We're two for two, and you might be thinking things are going quite smoothly, but this is where it starts getting a lot harder from the next raid. Shoreline grind never ends. We now have to do Eagle Eye as well as Punisher Part 1. I think it's quite a... Okay, so we see a player there. And it's a duo actually, which is not ideal at all. Do I try and... It's a three man. I think our best bet is to actually ignore them and just continue this way. If I'm not mistaken, it should be here. It is perfect. So run up here. And open this up. Where's the file we need to grab? Whatever the hell it is. There. Okay. Awesome. Okay, do we see anybody here? Yes, we do. Oh my god, it's two of them. That's not ideal. There's one to my right and one to my left. That's so unlucky. I don't know if we killed the first guy. Let's let's have a look. Okay, we got one of them, but man, if only we got that second guy, that would have been amazing. So I guess we have to jump into another one. So we lost the 1v2, which wasn't too bad, but this next one is a real tilter. I've made my AK a bit better. I've put a hammer scope on it and a suppressor. So hopefully... Say what? <laughs> we almost got killed. Or did we get killed? I can't tell. I can't tell if we killed him or not. But we're in big trouble here. Yeah. Man, we only just spawned in. I can't tell if we killed him or not. Did we kill him? Also, we dropped our mag here somewhere. We're gonna need it. He's not dead. Where is this guy? Killed him, okay. Oh my god, that was absurd. What the hell was that? He only just spawned in. We just had the craziest gunfight. I need to, I need to sit here in bed for the next like two minutes, that's for sure. <sighs> What? What are those spawns? I didn't even get to run for 30 seconds and I'm already fighting someone. That's... That's absurd. So let's just say I got a little bit tilted, but things do get better as we get into the next raid. Wow, killed that guy. He 
he doesn't have much. We will just take his mags. Another quest we had was Healthcare Privacy Part 1, so we had to start marking some ambulances. We also had the Anastasia quest line, so we had more markers to place around Shoreline. After also realizing we had to check out the SUV for Ragman, we went back towards our spawn, then we could extract that path to Lighthouse. So another fruitful raid. We marked two ambulances, one of the things for Anastasia, finished our Ragman quest, and we're getting closer and closer to finishing Punisher Part 1. For my next raid, my main focus was on Eagle Eye and getting the items from the two drones and back out to Peacekeeper. People spawn up here. After a weird nade, I wandered around for a few minutes and saw absolutely nothing, so I thought it was safe to eat. My god. That is crazy. Now I can check him. Where'd he go? No, he didn't. PS rounds, all right. Pretty fancy. His gun is much better than mine. Punisher part one is done. Hoping this is the drone. Yes, it is. Okay. Let's grab this thing here. Oh no. That's in front of us. Um, I don't know if that was a scav or not. Ah, damn. He is a wee bit loaded. It's very... Oh. I think we should just move. It's just not worth it. Finally found the second drone. And we can get out. 
two PMCs killed, we got both drones and finished Punisher Part 1. This was an absolute banger of a raid. But nonetheless, we still have things to mark and things to do, so back into another shoreline raid we go. Okay, maybe we can actually do one of the markers for Anastasia. If we go down to the pier. Since we have a pretty terrible... Oh wait, what? Didn't even realize that's one of the markers we have to place. Okay, that's lucky. Yeah, let's let's plant this. Where is it? Plant that, and then we're gonna just loot up here a little. Intelligence is amazing. Good thing we have a docs case on us to store everything. Diary, more rubles. Wow. That's some good loot right there. Ah, I could check these for flash drives to be honest. No flash drives. No flash drives. Let's check this guy really quickly. Is anybody trying to do their quest? No. Okay. Really scuffed spray there, but we got one. Was he solo? We're gonna go back in here for a bit. I reckon we could just go prone on him. Hello. Like, what is that loot? Bloody absurd, that's what it is. Change of plans. I want to get the hell out of here. Let's try to get up here. Now it's important to know in Tarkov, if things are generally going too well for you, they probably are and there's something terrible that's right around the corner. Oh my god. <laughs> What the hell is that? Yep, we got ratted. And this brings us to our final raid of our adventure, where we start doing humanitarian supplies and we have to go to the health resort. We need scab kills, and we need to do signal part one, and mark a few things at the resort. We might check this way before going into health resort for scabs. Speaking of scab. Scab not die. Wouldn't be surprised if we die here, but we're gonna give it a shot. May as well loot this. And that's why we loot it. For the good ammo. Let's dump our bag. And go for it. Hopefully no one's here. That's not good. Come on. Can I place this one? Yep. So, healthcare privacy is done. Hopefully, Anastasia. There we go. Let's 
get back up in here. Okay, we'll go this way, because I think the truck we need to mark is this way, right? This one here, there it is. That one's done. There's no way we're having such a smooth raid, is there? This almost feels too good to be true. We've marked everything. Fun might be over now. That's a scav or a PMC we just dropped. But I think we need to keep moving. Definitely not gonna go loot that. I think the best way is going to be this way. Can't tell if that was a player scab or a PMC, but we're not going to wait around. Last thing we need to do is signal the one by the radio tower. So, we get that done. We have accomplished so much. Okay. I heard something. Someone there. Just on the other side of the rock. That's gonna be it. Let's go touch this. And now we need to just get out. This would be a huge rage. I hear something. Actually, I hear more than one thing. Scabs. Okay. Two more scabs on our way out, which we also need. It's fine. <laughs> Sit in this corner and hide. What a raid. Look at all that loot. Crazy. 4k XP. One of them was a PMC. So we killed two PMCs there. And a whole lot of scabs. Okay, how many quests have we finished here? We go to mechanic. We finish signal. Let's turn that in. Except the rest. Finished healthcare privacy. Awesome, we've got part two now. Anastasia is done. And car repair, we can turn that in. The snowball. Level 26 now. If you guys enjoyed this video and watched till the end, please leave a like and subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me. And I hope you enjoyed the video.